In this video, we will see how dashboards are created from Excel step-by-step. -step. Here is the sales data of a particular company that sells electronic gadgets in different cities. We have the records from first week of January to last week of December and is just sample data. Dates are in the first column, product name in the second column, category in the third column, name of sales representative in the fourth column, name of city in the fifth column, number of units sold in the next column, unit price and amount in the last column. Now the dashboard report created using this data. A bar chart that shows the amount of sales happened in each month of the year. Another bar chart which shows the amount of sales done by each sales representative. A line chart with the amount of sales happened in each city. A column chart displaying the product-wise sales. Finally, a pie chart which shows the category-wise sales. This slides are here can be used to filter the data in these charts by a particular month or months of a choice. Suppose I want these charts to display only the sales happened in the month of July. I will click on July and all these four charts updated accordingly. It means these charts are now displaying the amounts for July. We can have multiple selections by holding the control key March, September. Now these charts are displaying the amounts for the selected months. To remove the filter, click on Clear Filter. That means this report can be used to monitor different metrics like performance of sales executives, months in which business performs well, fast moving products, etc. Ultimately, this report will help in understanding and improving the business. Same data which we saw a moment earlier. First column has the date of sale, product name in the second column, category in the third column, name of sales rep in the fourth column, name of the city, number of units sold, unit price, and the amount in the last column. Control shift down arrow. See we have 1560 records here. Control up arrow. Now let's see how to create a sales dashboard report using this data. For that, click anywhere inside this table. Go to the Insert tab of the Excel button. Pivot Table. A dialog called Pivot Table from Table or Range is activated, and you can see our sales data is automatically selected. We'll go with New Worksheet so that the Pivot Table will be created in a new worksheet. OK, see we have a Pivot Table placeholder here. First, we will work out the amount of sales happened in each city. For that, drag and drop this build called City into the area for rows. See, we have the list of cities here. Now, drag and drop this field code amount into the area for values, and we have the amount of sales happened in each city. To apply number format for these values, right-click number, format number. Use thousand separator. Decimal places are not required. Okay, later this pivot table will be used to create a line chart which will display the amount of sales happened in each city. Next, we need the product Y sales amounts. For that, we will make a copy of this pivot table. Select the pivot table, Control C to copy. For product Y sales amount, click inside the pivot table and mark the checkbox against city. Mark the checkbox against the product and we have the product Y sales amounts. Next, we need the sales done by each sales rep. We'll copy this pivot table control C to copy. We'll paste it here. Remove the field code product from the area for rows. 
Mark the checkbooks for sales rep, and we have the sales done by each sales rep. Next we need the sales happened in each category that is laptop, headphone, and cell phone. For that we'll copy this pivot table, paste it here, unmark the checkbooks for sales rep. Mark the checkbox for category, and we have the category by sales. So we have created four pivot tables. Now we need the amount of sales happening each month of the year. For that we'll copy this pivot table, paste it here, unmark the checkbox for category. Mark the checkbox for date. Right now this pivot table has months, dates, and day. But we only need months, not dates, and here we have Next step is naming this pivot tables. To name this pivot table as city, click inside the pivot table. Go to the pivot table analyze tab. Use this input box to rename the selected pivot table. We'll type in city, enter. We'll name this pivot table as product. This one will be sales rep, yes sales rep. Fourth one will be category. And the last pivot table will be named as months. New worksheet for the dashboard. We'll name this worksheet as dashboard. We'll rename the worksheet to the pivot tables as pivot tables. Next, we will create the charts report for the dashboard report to create a line chart from this pivot table. Click inside the pivot table, insert insert line or area chart under 2D line. Select line. To remove these buttons from this line chart, right click on a field button. Hide all field buttons on the chart. We'll delete these vertical axis labels. We don't need grid lines. We'll remove the legend now to add data labels to the chart. Chart elements data. Now to move this line chart to the worksheet for dashboard, click on the chart control X to cut. Go to the worksheet called Dashboard. Control V to paste. We'll reduce the zoom level for a better view. Format. Let's make the height 7. Set the width to 16.5. To create a column chart from this pivot table called Products, click on the pivot table. Insert. Insert column or bar chart clustered column. We'll hide the field buttons. We'll remove the vertical axis tables. We don't need grid lines. Remove legend to add data labels, chart elements, data labels. We'll modify the chart title to Let's move this chart to the worksheet for dashboard. Control X to cut. Go to the sheet called dashboard. Control V to paste. To resize this chart, format, height will be 7, width will be 16.5. Now
now a bar chart representing the sales done by each sales rep. To create a bar chart from this pivot table called sales rep, go to the insert tab, insert column or bar chart, clustered bar, remove the field buttons, delete the horizontal axis labels, remove legend, remove grid lines, add data labels. Modify the chart title to sales by sales rep. Control X, Control V to paste. Control X, Control V to paste. We will resize this chart. Set the height to 14.5 width will be 12. Next one is a pie chart with a category Y sales. For that, click inside the pivot table insert insert pie or donut chart. Hide the field buttons, remove legend and data labels. To add categories to the data labels, right click on a data label format data labels. Mark the checkbox for category name. Modify the chart title to sales by category. Now move the chart into the worksheet for dashboard. Now we need a slicer which will enable us to filter the data in these charts according to the selected month. For that, click on any of these charts. Pivot Chart Analyze. Insert Slicer. A dialog called Insert Slicers is activated. Select Months. Okay, we have a slicer here. Now to arrange these buttons in multiple columns, go to the tab called Slicer. Set the number of Now to hide this unwanted buttons, go to Slicer Settings. Check the box with Hide Items with No Data. Now when I click on any of these buttons, for example this button called May, this line chart is displaying the sales amounts for the month of May, July. See the chart updated accordingly. To remove the filter, click on this clear filter button. Now to link the other three charts to the slicer, select the slicer. Go to the slicer tab, report connections. All our pivot tables are listed here. Check the boxes for all pivot tables except the one for months, category, products, etc. Okay, now when you click on the button for March, all four charts updated accordingly. August, April. To make multiple selection, hold the control key. Click on the corresponding buttons March, August, October. These charts are now displaying the details for the months April, March, August, and October. Clear filter to remove the filter. Hope you enjoyed creating this dashboard with me. So, like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.